Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my everyday makeup look. Um, it's more of like a natural look I would say. Some people mightn't say that but um, I'll show you all the products I use and yeah, let's get started. So first I'm just going to sanitize my hands with uh, some hand sanitizer just because I like clean hands. I have already cleaned my face and uh, moisturized and all that sort of thing so I'm just going to get straight into the makeup. The first thing I'm going to be doing is priming. I'm just going to be using L'Oreal Paris Infallible Mattifying Base. And I do use my hands for this, I just think it works best for me. For foundation, I'm just going to be using the Bourjois Paris City Radiance in beige. I have got tan on, so I don't usually wear beige because I am quite pale. You should probably see the difference in my neck. I'm not quite sure if you can, but it is it right there, it's not going to focus. So. And I'm just going to be putting it on with a Real Techniques brush. So I always look crazy with just my foundation on. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna be taking my beauty blender. My beauty blender I have had for so long. So I did actually cut the top off it the other day just because it was that bad. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna be wetting it with just some uh, Maybelline New York uh, Superstay, the 24R one. I'm just going to put a little bit more foundation on my beauty blender and then I'm just going to pat my face. Okay, once we have my foundation laid, I'm going to, I would usually powder, so um, I'm not going to overly powder my face because I'm going to like it more of like a dewy look these days. So. I'm just going to be using my MAC Invisible Powder thing. Uh, this stuff is really hard to get out of the, the tub. And for that, I'm just going to be taking my one of my Sigma brushes. It's like a powder brush. And I'm just going to set it like, underneath my eyes. And my nose, because I'm quite oily. Just a tiny bit of powder, I don't want too much. So um, once I've got my foundation and my powder done, um, I'm just gonna move on to my eyebrows real quick. So I've got you quite zoomed in on my face. Uh, that is not attractive at all, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I'm just gonna take in this cheap spoolie brush just to, just to brush up my eyebrows. I hope this is focused. I have no idea what I'm doing. So once I've spilled it through, I'm just going to take my eyebrow pencil. I would usually do my eyebrows with uh, pomade and stuff, but for this like simple look, I'm just gonna use this Maybelline Brow Satin. It's just really quick and really easy to use. So as you can see, it just adds a little bit more um, colour and definition to your eyes without having to do too much work. I did overbook this eyebrow the other day, um, and yeah, it just looks a lot thinner because <laughs> I'm an idiot. So once you think you've got your eyebrows 
done. I usually just give them another run through with the spoolie just to blend any harsh lines. And then to set my eyebrows, I just like to use some clear bar gel um, and I'm just using Rimmel London Born This Way, it's just clear bar gel. I do like to brush from the front of my eyebrow hairs, like really, like upwards, let me see if you know what I mean. Like, Kind of messily. Sometimes when I go back over with the spoolie, the product like moves on to my foundation. So I like to just take one of these wee Sigma brushes. This is a, a flat defined. I'm pretty sure uh, the E15 brush from Sigma is just like a really nice, like flat, square ended brush. And I'm just putting a wee tiny bit of foundation on the back of my hand and just tidy up where you think you smudged it onto your foundation. Yeah, that's a really good look, isn't it? Done. So I'm going to keep you zoomed in uh, for the eyes. Uh, for my eyes, I just like to do a bit of liner and a little bit of mascara. Uh, so for my waterline, I'm going to be using Scandalize by Rimmel London. Um, and it's just this cold eyeliner. Um, and excuse whatever face I'm about to put, but you know, makeup faces. I was going to do winged eyeliner and then like I realised the camera's on me and I'm probably going to mess it up so I'm not going to bother today. Um, but uh, I'm just going to put on a wee bit of mascara and I'm going to be using Rumble London. Half of this is Rumble London but just the volume colour mascara. It's been my like favourite at the minute so. So once I've got my top eyelashes done, I'm just going to put a wee drop on the bottom so my camera just completely stopped recording them. Um, but now I'm going to, now that I've finished my eyes, I'm going to be just putting a wee bit of bronzer around my face. Um, I'm just going to be using the same powder brush and the bronzer I'm using is the Maxi Delight by Bourjois, I'm pretty sure, I think. <laughs> um, I'm just taking a bit of that. Um, Bronze not my face because I look really pale. So once I've done the face, the eyes, the brows, uh, the next thing I move on to is highlighter. To make my highlighter stick to my face, I like to just use my setting spray before I do my highlighter, so I'm just using this cheek setting spray. This sweet bit. Oh my god. <clears throat> just the wee bit on there. And I just fan it. The highlighter of, of choice today is the Kat Von D Metal Crush. It's actually an eyeshadow, but it's great for highlighting. So uh, it's in Thunderstruck. Just taking a angle, large angle of contour brush by Sigma. It's F40. Just and I just drag that up my temples. To the brow above my brow. Woo! I 
and then of course I have to get the wee tin man nose going on. Um, I know I have a large nose but I cannot resist that highlight. We put on the cupid's bow, on the chin, whatever's left across the forehead. So once I've pretty much done everything I'm going to move on to lips. Very simple, Jeffree Star of course. Uh, in Celebrity Skin, the liquid like, lipsticks. This uh, lipstick by Jeffree Star in Celebrity Skin is literally nearly done. I love it that much. And this stuff does not move at all. <laughs> And there we have it, the final makeup look. Uh, if you guys like this, please leave a like. If you have any other suggestions on what I should do on this channel, makeup related, drop them in the comment section as well. Feel free. Um, yeah. Until next time, guys.